What is this for again? Red on the internet. Oh, red is in like hot popular, but then also red like I posted this picture and got red to filth in the comments. Yeah, this is very bad. What's up everyone? My name is Rosie.jpg and I'm an e-girl. E-girl means different things to different people and it kind of changed over time. Pre-2019, e-girl was linked to gaming, cosplay, cuteness, pastel colors, Twitch, Discord, Instagram, and Snapchat. Then Billie Eilish happened and nowadays e-girl is linked to sad music, counterculture, a 90s grunge goth aesthetic, and TikTok. Of course there's some crossover and it's not really as simple as all that, but a really important thing is aesthetic. Aesthetic is arguably the most important part. We exist on platforms that are super visual, like TikTok. So you have to be recognizable and visually interesting. People who like the aesthetic will follow you. So it's important to have the look down and also tag your posts correctly. E-girl can be a job. Some girls make a lot of money. If you get enough followers, you can get sponsorships for makeup or clothes that you like and just tag the brand on TikTok. Other people make their own merch and sell it. Oh, last year, Belle Delphine posted an Instagram video of herself in the bath and then sold the bath water for $30 a jar. I wish I had thought of that. Did that really happen? Yes. You know, people call her a thought, but I think she's the smartest girl on the internet. Oh, Twitch. Twitch is another one. If you're like a gamer girl, e-girl, you can make money that way. For some girls, that's like a full-time job. They'll stream the whole day and people send money to support them. Hmm. Well, like in the 90s, webcams were invented, right? And girls could like record themselves at home and take their clothes off and do stuff for money. Well, now if you're a cute girl, you can just stream yourself playing Mario Kart on Twitch and strangers will send you money and you don't even have to take your clothes off. It's a hell of a time to be a female. Yeah, we're big into irony, but it's like Alanis Mars set ironic. We're not really using the word like correctly. On TikTok, irony is like doing the thing on purpose, even though you know it's a meme. People use these trends how they want to. I mean, we know everything online is kind of fake anyway. It's like post-post irony. It's like meta. Actually, there's a cultural mindset known as metamodernism, and that's pretty much what's happening here. Metamodernism is the oscillation between modernism's optimism and postmodernism's irony. It's nostalgic and cynical, knowing and naive, manipulative, manipulated, and spontaneous. TikTok is very that. The only way to stay in people's minds is to put out new content often and try to get on trending hashtags. If there's a new meme or a dance, something that's popping, you should do it too. As soon as you get any kind of following online, you're going to get a whole lot of unwanted opinions on every little thing to do with you. But if you don't mind putting in a lot of time and effort into something that we all know is pretty much ridiculous, then you can be low-key famous on the internet for a minute. And really, can you put a price on that? You will never know. Oh,